Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Thought I would get an update on this MCRN Tachi project. Um, I uh, did some engineering work and kind of came up with a baseline idea for a docking platform for the ship now. And uh, let me show you how that all is set up here. So I have the uh, current version of the ship over here on on this other dock and I made a few more modifications to the ship uh, now this is the CV version not the SV version um, it is three blocks longer than it, what it used to be and two blocks wider I basically extended out the uh, the width of these uh, side platforms a little bit and extended the ship a little bit longer and this has to do with the uh, well I'm trying to get it more precise but also when I convert it to an SV it will come out to the right uh, down down to the meter size of the original ship now this version is is far larger than the original ship uh, about 3.7 times larger actually a little bit more than that um, it's 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 a close to one-to-one -one translation now going to an SV so as in the dock, what this uh, offers is, well, first, a, a way to dock the ship on the ground, um, but also a, a repair facility and uh, access to the ship, which is up at this front door here. This now has an installed uh, ramp that comes down in which you can exit out of the ship into this apparatus here. Now, I, I do have a couple of questions on this, this part, uh, or this uh, base, I guess you could say. Should it be just a docking slash repair facility, or should it be a full-blown player base? Now, if it was a player base, I would want to add in solar, crafting, farm, um, all, the, uh, all the fun stuff you would, you would want on a normal base, uh, defense, things like that. Currently, it doesn't have any of that, but I was trying to go with a plausible looking style to match the ship and kind of make it look, you know, I don't know, uh, plausible, you know, like like this is actual a platform that would really work on the ship. Now, how the ship actually docks to this is it has a set of front landing gear that will come down over here. I have these landing gear here, which aren't really needed, but I'll show you why I got them there. It's more of a visual uh, uh, thing when you're actually docking the ship. Um, and then there's another set of uh, landing gear that uh, mount up to these rails over here. And it kind of gives you a nice little access to walk around on the uh, this lower area and check out the bottom of the ship for you know damages or whatever. But you know, I, I, most of that's probably not needed. Now, another thing that I did to the ship is I switched a lot of the turrets, actually most of the turrets, to retractable. Now, I lost a little bit of detail, I think, in the process. But, for instance, I can go over here and shut down the turrets. And most of them across the ship disappear at that point in time. It leaves the ones that were on the ship originally like here and here and the position up over here but the rest of them kind of hide away besides these two which I have no way to hide with my current platform there um, so I thought that was kind of a neat little approach to trying to get it a little more authentic looking versus the real ship but also have the functionality for the game that you would want of having a lot of weapons and turrets especially for a ship that I'm going to try to get designed for uh, combat um, it would be its primary function um, as in the ramps and HVs that can fit in here uh, I did test this with the Demos HT which is a fairly good sized tank and that does fit through the door it's tight but it fits um, so anything smaller than that would have no problems but like a tank like the basilisk over here it's too big to fit in this ship um, and this this one actually requires a uh, 13 by 7 hangar door to fit because it's quite wide um, 
So let's uh, let's let's dock this over to the other platform a minute, and I'll show you how it all works here. So I'm gonna uh, I don't have any sensors or automation set up on this stuff right now, so I'm just gonna manually close down some doors and things like that. Ramps. All right, so I think I've got everything all set up that way, and turrets are retracted. So what I did is I installed a, where is it? Yeah, man, I've lost my own ship. I hate that. Okay, so I got this little viewing window here, which is kind of discreet, and I'm, the light's going to go away probably, um, and I'll... I'll make some tweaks to this to try to conceal it more. I might even put like a uh, uh, ramp or something in front of it to really hide it. Um, so you've got this first person view cockpit over here, which gives you kind of a nice nice visibility on coming in. So with the one side effect, I got this giant thruster in, in your viewpoint right now. I'm thinking about moving that thruster a little bit out of the way. So when you come up to a docking platform you basically kind of line up on it so I'll be all twisted around here in a minute so you just uh, line up kind of fly at it at about this height and you get lower and lower and lower and lower and eventually you'll see your uh, your front gear come down and then you just land um, at that point in time all the landing gear should have de deployed and these like I said don't really need to be there they're just uh, helpful to see you know how you're lined up but it's uh, I've been pretty accurate every time I've been landing um, where these are kind of right where they should be same idea with the uh, the landing gear up here um, I'm a little bit off but it doesn't really matter and then of course the ramps from the side pieces here We'll meet up to here uh, fairly closely and, uh, and then you got your front boarding ramp here which can come down and join up to this base so that's pretty much how it's working fairly easy process to do once you once you do it once and you kind of know where to uh, uh, line the ship up to and that uh, viewport works over there so this took some uh, playing around for sure to try to get this right and try to get it to work. Um, but uh, I stopped, uh, well, I kind of ran out of time too, but uh, I basically, my biggest uh, thing was do I make this into a full base or do I just kind of keep it as a docking repair uh, loading platform? Um, I'm kind of steering towards a full base because... You know, would you really want to have, if you have this ship and this whole apparatus that's kind of needed for the ship to land it properly, would you really want to have another base on the side as well? I guess you could, um, but I believe this one, if I build out a facility over on the front side, could handle it all. So something else I wanted to show you too while I got the video going is how to turn a CV or, well, really anything into anything else. So this CV, I want to make into an SV. And I've, um, I've done this a few times now. So the first thing you want to do in the process is to uh, get the ship selected. And you want the whole ship selected. So and you know what, just to be safe, I'm going to get this off the ground again. All right, so get some doors retracted here. So when I uh, make the SV version, they're not automatically open. All right, so we, will, we would want to select the ship. Now I'm trying to save a little time on this and I've actually pre-selected this the ship and I should be able to just Darn it. <laughs> Come on. 
I want to copy to selection. Okay, did it do it? Yes, okay. So the ship is basically got a big box around it that was selected. And what I'll do from there is I will copy it. And then I, oop, I can actually remove the selection once I copied it. So then I've got a SV starter block over here. I'll place this somewhere. I'm on over here. So I'll get over to this SV block. I will get into the end key tool again, and I'll just touch on it to make a selection box there. And all you got to do at this point is paste it, but not once, but twice. So I'll paste, and then I'll paste again. Okay, so then I can remove the selection. So what we've got here is the ship copied over to SV size. And let me just clean up this a bit here. Now a couple things that, that uh, a few things would need to be done once you do this. Obviously I don't have the color palette in place, so I've got that actually saved as well as color palette two, so I can apply that to the ship. So now we've got our colors uh, moved through. Um, and beyond that, uh, the other thing that typically needs to be done is it will be set to public. You'd want to change this back to private. And that's on main in the P menu. And of course, it's uh, full of illegal parts right now. Uh, so it's got CV thrusters, uh, it's built of CV combat steel, uh, just CV everything. So all those parts would need to be swapped out. Uh, blocks would need to be converted to SV blocks, um, which would seriously reduce the hit points of them. Like currently, even though this is a SV, we're running CV or combat steel blocks. So you're getting the, the hit points of combat steel blocks. In fact, this is pretty illegal if this was actually like able to be used in game, it would have a huge advantage over any other SVs that weren't cheating themselves. Um, but that is how the process is done, so it's really quite quick and easy to do to make a uh, SV out of a CV or vice versa, actually. I could uh, take this and scale it back up to a CV, or I could do the same thing with anything else. I could make this into a CV or an SV if I really wanted to. Um, and that's basically how it works. Now, one, one thing I've noticed when uh, doing this conversion process is, this is kind of interesting, is the thrusters tend to look a little bit different. Um, and the, the look of CV thrusters at the, at the back area of the ship kind of almost makes it look like it's one big thruster. Um, I thought that was kind of a neat side effect, but they're all awfully bright and glary. I will say, um, but you know, of course, CV thrusters aren't supposed to be on an SV like this. Um, but does it fly? Can I fly it actually with the chair here? I believe I can. Woohoo! So now we are flying this SV converted. Let's just park it up here a minute. So that's pretty much what I've got done so far. I'm curious on feedback on what I should do with the base and uh, projects uh, going forward is I want to um, well, get more work done on this uh, CV first and I want to get that uh, get rolling on the interior and things like that. Um, oh, and on this, uh, keep in mind the original ship is 42 meters long. And now this SV version is 40.5 meters. So it's so it's so close. I'm a meter, I'm 1.5 meters short yet. And I might be able to cheat with that because actually I, I'm looking at the actual ship and I believe I still got these uh, these weapon emplacements uh, a little far back. They actually extend out quite a bit on the real ship. Um, so I might be able to gain a meter there, and then it's uh, 
what I've noticed is one SV block is about a half meter. So if it was one block longer somewhere else, I think I could identically match one per one, per one uh, scale ratio of the original ship from the uh, TV show. Which would be kind of neat. I don't need to do it, but it's just kind of like one of those weird challenging things. You know, like I thought I found it to be actually a lot of fun to try to engineer this thing to work with this ship and to make all that work. I mean, it was kind of a, a fun little project. Of course, once I've got got the, like the base blocks down for testing, then I, then I kind of went to town trying to detail it up and make it all pretty. I did use some copy and paste on this too, like... Um, I built one of these legs and it's copied eight times throughout this thing. Um, stuff like that. I mean, uh, one other feature I'm planning on putting in here is I've already kind of installed some LC, some projector LCDs below this. I'm going to try to make some kind of display that pops up and almost since there's several of them going down the line, I actually kind of want it to look like a 3D display kind of like guiding you from the uh the the first person view of the of the ship and like uh boxes or something like that like your your flight path on how you're coming up to this at well anyway that's all i've got for today um why i have this basculus out as well is i wanted to uh this is my oldest tank my first released tank to the workshop uh, i believe a uh, two years or a little bit more than two years ago and since then the game has offered now uh, combat uh, block or combat steel blocks for HVs uh, new HV thrusters um, of course shields and new storage and of course a whole bunch more new blocks plus colors and everything else so I kind of wanted to uh, do a refit on this and uh, that would be some block modifications, switching out thrusters, switching out all kinds of stuff, but try to keep it look similar to the original, short of I might add a little bit more color depth into it. Um, and then uh, just update the uh, the blueprint that's out there currently and not like making like a new blueprint of it. So this is a project I'm thinking about doing and I might uh, make videos on the, the process of switching it all out to the new stuff which would be kind of neat i'm not exactly sure but i i think i could do some better shaping with the body at this point in time especially with the new blocks i definitely could do a little better job texturing it and with the colors and then of course switch all the components over to make it uh up to date to alpha 10 standards and of course the material to uh the combat steel so it would just be tougher than the original one and I could balance it off easy enough by putting in the the newer thrusters as well so it wouldn't be as um, it would have more power basically okay well y'all have a good day hope you enjoyed this thanks a lot see ya